Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu and by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, we just wrapped up a game between New Bremen and Finley. The score there, New Bremen with 55 points, Finley 135. So Finley will be moving on, eventually taking on the winner of this game between Riverdale and Coldwater. We want to introduce you to our players from Coldwater. They are returning. We have Kathy Langenkamp, Dane Rindler, Martin Wagner, and Alex Wattmeyer. And Coldwater is coached by Matt Lange. Welcome back to all of you. All right, turning now to Riverdale. We have Samuel Thacker, Wyatt Thacker, Andrew Borkowski, and Aaron Lease. And Riverdale is coached by Christy Thacker. Welcome back to you. All right, we have our first two rounds before we take a commercial break. Our first round, 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Make sure you get those buzzers ready. Everybody take a deep breath and let's have some fun. All right, question number one. What is the maximum number of years a U.S. president may be in office? Yes, that would be cold water. Eight years. That is incorrect. Riverdale, you want to try it? Yes. Four years. Four years is incorrect. The answer is actually one day less than 10 years. There you go. Question number two. In a right triangle, name the side opposite the right angle. Yes, Riverdale. The hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is correct. Who composed the music for Cats and Phantom of the Opera? Time is up. The answer is Andrew Lloyd Webber. The Northern Lights are also called what? Yes, cold water. Aurora Borealis. That is the correct answer. All right, number five. What Shakespearean character says parting is such sweet sorrow? Cold water. Romeo. Incorrect. Riverdale, you want to try? Yes. Juliet. Juliet is the answer there. What is the scientific name for blood sugar? Cold water. Glucose. Glucose is correct. <laughs> Identify the oldest man in the Bible. Yes, Riverdale. Methuselah. Methuselah is correct. Question eight. Which French author wrote The Three Musketeers? Cold water. Dumas. Could you expand the name? Alexander Dumas. You are correct. What S word describes Chagall's style of art? Yes. Sculpture. Sculpture is incorrect. Cold water, you've got a chance. Yes. Surrealism. That is correct. All right, your final question in this first round. Name the wall in Jerusalem where people of the Jewish faith gather in prayer. Riverdale. The Wailing Wall. The Wailing Wall is the answer. Okay, we've come to the end of our first round and it is tied. We have a score of 40 between both teams. So, in a coin toss, we have decided that Riverdale, you will be the first in this second round of questions. You will have the first five questions worth five points each. And please buzz in with your answers. To which American general did German forces surrender in 1945? Yes. Eisenhower. Could you expand his name? Dwight. D. Eisenhower. That is correct. What city is known as the Big Apple? Yes. New York City. New York City is correct. Give the name for a short novel. Yes. A novel. That is correct. 
In what country was the musical The Sound of Music set? Yes. Austria. Austria is the answer. And here's your final question in round two. Which New England city first met in its Fainwell Hall in 1743? Yes. Boston. You are correct, Boston. All right, turning now to cold water. Five questions, five points each. Which continent was called the Dark Continent? Europe. Go. Yes. Europe. Europe is incorrect. Africa is Man. the answer. What is the church-based term that Louisiana uses for land divisions and counties? Yes. Parish? Parish is the answer. According to one of Aesop's fables, which animal laid a golden egg every morning? Goose. Yes. A goose. Goose is correct. Two questions remain. Which term designates the complete path over which an electric current flows? Mm -hmm. Yes. Circuit. Circuit is the answer. And here's your final question in round two. What French phrase means a dead-end street? Yes. Cul-de-sac. Cul-de-sac is correct. All right. Well played, both of you. We've come to the end of rounds one and two. Here's our score. Riverdale with 65 points. Coldwater with 60. We'll be back for the final 10 questions right after this. Don't go away.